we're going to put a side whip graft on this tree when the tree is a little too small for a whip uh, for a bark graft and a little too big for a whip full whip we put on what we call a side whip and uh, so I'm going to we have the same problem with bleeding on these kind of trees as we do the the uh, bark graft so um, I'm I left these stubs when I cut the tree off so that I have a nice fresh place to make some fresh wound wounds so that it would it could bleed there got a little more stuff that I'd like left for nurse limbs and so we <clears throat> when I cut it off a week ago I put some gashes in here and you as you may be able to see it's, it is bleeding so we're gonna have a couple of fresh gashes now a little tree like this we don't go too deep and uh, so a couple of gashes there and we could even drill a hole a nice little bit there and we go in there uh, oh an inch perhaps and so then we're going to cut the tree off and uh, <laughs> so, um, this is as they call a side whip, uh, as opposed to being a full whip. So we're going to get us a cyan piece, pretty much like all the other graphs, with two sets of bud, with a primary bud and a secondary bud. And over on this side, we have another primary bud and a secondary bud. Um, so this thing, we're going to do the same way. We're going to cut it down to, to just about nothing there. And if this is the one where you keep your band-aids handy when you're making the, the back cut on there. Okay, same old thing. We've got it pretty flat. And then we make a little cut. I, uh, I guess you'd call that a tongue. They call this whip or tongue grafting. So I believe that's what they're talking about. And then we're going to cut hopefully just deep enough to be pretty much that size exposed there. We're trying to, of course, uh, match the cambium layer, which is a layer right between the bark and the wood. The cambium layer is out here in the outer edge. And so we want to make this cut so that the cambium layer showing here is going to be about that width so they'll touch. So, so this is a little tricky. Um, This is a rather awkward position to be uh, cutting in. But you notice the, the uh, width of the bark here at this, what we're doing here. So we've got to match this outside edge with that inside edge. So, or not outside, but this inside cambium with that one. So we need to uh, get that about the same width in that is not too good yet, but uh, oh, come on. Okay, so now we're doing pretty good, and so if we can put that in that position, this area here will will match pretty good with that. So we can make this cut where we think that it's going to make it all come out together. Oh, okay. So you see that that cut there, it, and so 
make that a little higher. Okay. So we, we want this inner between the bark and the wood to, to end up right here. Not out there on the outside edge, but right there. And I'm fairly happy with that. So now we need our tape. We're going to wrap it now. And uh, I'm a re green tape kind of guy. Most grafters use a, a, a paper uh, masking tape, but I don't. And uh, so some of the folks that use the paper uh, masking tape um, then put sealer over the, the black stuff over the top of the paper. But um, I'm, uh, I'm a green tape guy. No, so let's see. We're gonna do something here a little different. Uh, sometimes I use the uh, the saran wrap type stuff on that top, and sometimes I use this. So We're going to seal the top with the black stuff, and we can put a little black stuff on there. It may or may not be necessary, but... Um, so, so that's uh, pretty much it. Now the thing is, as soon as this dries, and it must be painted white as we showed before. Painted all white. Um, another thing to remember that um, when the grafts start growing, you've got to be prepared to keep all the rootstock sprouts off in this area. And don't let these go crazy. Keep them fairly short. And this should go way beyond the stake this year. It needs to be tied about every foot all the way up. Um, and again, this may push out with two or three shoots, and you need to uh, trim them back down to to uh, pretty much one. Pinch the tips on them so that one goes on up. The other thing, uh, when the um, when the um, Graphs that are out here, oh, a foot or two, two feet, uh, you probably should cut the tape. Um, I don't, uh, I don't cut the tape clear off. What I do is I, in the tape, I make some little cuts just like that in the tape so that it weakens it, but it's still supporting the graft. And then it'll, if you put some little cuts in it like that, it will expand and break by itself before it gets too tight. 